For too long in America, many churches have made this assumption. It's the assumption of the seeker-sensitive church. They, they say, you know, if we're just nice enough to people, and if we just change our music, and we dress cool, and we give out free coffee mugs, then people will love Jesus. Okay, hey, listen, yeah, let's be nice to everybody. That's a biblical command. Be kind to everyone. We're called to love even our enemies. Good works do change people. And yeah, let's not make music or dress code a barrier to coming to church. Good grief. I don't care what you wear to church as long as you wear something, please. Okay? Dress, right? And yet, I'm here to tell you that many people in the world will still hate you. Regardless of all those superficial changes. Why? Because they hate Jesus. They hate God. You can be nice as you want to them. You can be kind to them, but that does not mean they will trust in Christ. The message we stand for is inherently offensive. This is the gospel. We believe the world has been deceived by the devil. Mankind is in rebellion against the God who made them. And we are enslaved to forces of darkness if we do not trust in Christ. Because of our sin, mankind is on their way to hell. Hell, brothers and sisters, and they will be punished by God there. But God loved us, and he came, and he sent the Son to die for us, so that if we turn from our other gods, if we turn from worshiping ourselves, and we put our trust in the actual true God who made us, then we can be saved. 